that defining uh, that defining motif, that defining genre in Australian painting and Australian art. And quite possibly it's not, but it's still fundamentally there. One other thing struck me looking around the show was that really, you look at all these works, there's a kind of celebration of the landscape. And it, there's, a, there's a great sort of sense of joy uh, and confidence and optimism that's expressed in this, uh, in this sort of, yeah, this mood of the landscape. And I wondered at, about another side to that, that particular coin, because when you think of the landscape, you think of nature, and we think of nature now, and we think of what's happening to nature now. And in a way, it sort of surprised me that I didn't see works that were rather critical of what we're doing to the land and the landscape. Uh, we all know that you know the rivers and the oceans are being filled up with rubbish, our rubbish, as those you know, climate change is denied by some, uh, but not many of you, I would suspect. Uh, the visual impact of those great sort of whirling gig things going around, I think, I, do they actually ever create any energy? Uh, I, can't, I find it quite bewildering. Uh, so looking at them, seldom do they seem to be moving which doesn't seem to me to be creating much energy. I wonder about the, the, the landscape, and in a way it's sort of wonderfully refreshing to come in here and say, let's put that aside, let's just celebrate you know, the, the, the extraordinary regenerative powers of nature, which is what we're seeing here. But at the same time, I thought, in a way, it's also the job of artists to alert our minds and our consciences to the issues and nature is an issue at the moment. So let's come down to the judging. I, when you, ju when you um, uh, hear the results of our deliberations, if, if you agree with the, the consequences and the results, then, then, then we will happily applaud and accept those. Um, <laughs> if, if you don't agree with them, then I would like you to, to talk to my two colleagues. <laughs> Anne Thompson and Nick Vickers, uh, and I will <coughs> exit by the back door. Uh, what we do, actually, you know, we've, we've judged, you know, Nick and, uh, and uh, uh, Anne have judged many, many prizes as well, and, you know, we go through this endlessly. And I, I, I sort of go through a process of elimination, but what we did this time, which I think was right, we all walked around on our own, and we sort of picked six, seven, well, I said pick about six or seven, so they both picked about 20. <laughs> and, and, and then we sort of whittled it down to five or six. And I think the five that we finally uh, put our minds to will all be mentioned in due course. But it's my job, uh, on behalf of my fellow judges, to announce two particular winners. One is the Young Artist Award, and that is to Nia Giuela, whose work is over there. A young... And that's a... I have to say, this is a young... That is a work of immense sophistication. It's, it's, a, it's a beautiful, sublime, contemplative work of, of, of great aesthetic appeal, and it's one that's true to its heritage as well. It's a smallish painting, but it's a beautiful painting. And that's the prize given by, by Marlene of 5,000 smackaroos. <laughs> now, on the, on the, uh, the, there are many others, but I've got to now announce the overall winner. And that is T Tim Allen's Fisher Garden of Stone, which is just along there on the left-hand side. This is a picture which um, you talk about, we talk about the inspiration of nature. And in that painting, there's an extraordinary amount. I, it's, you know, sometimes you look at a painting and say, okay, it's arbitrary. Did it have to be made? It's a, this is a strange subjective reaction to things. 
but sometimes I look at, uh, at uh, particularly at contemporary works, and I feel that there's, there's an insistence in them that whatever happens, this painting had to be made. And I get the feeling about this work. There's a great deal of sort of cosmic energy in it. There's a, it's sort of a, it, it expresses a turbulent, resilient nature, regenerative, regenerated nature. And the power of nature and the momentums of nature are very really manifest in that extraordinary and the sheer energy of the brushwork. We know this is just a glimpse of nature, but it embraces that sense of universal energy and universal recreation. So that was the painting that we, we set upon, ultimately, but I think I should say and echo what Marlene said, that we should thank all the artists who submitted works, mm. and above all, the 50-odd the that, that we, we selected from the, the thousand and that are hung here. And you can be happy you live in a very, very creative community. So, and thank you, Marlene. Congratulations to all the artists. Thank you. So now what do we do?